All right, guys, we're back at the garage and we have so many different projects going on. I'm very, very excited about this one in particular. Today, we received the very first set of fully custom carbon fiber body work for an RC8C like in the world. I'm freaking excited about this. So the short of it is that I have a guy that does special projects and special things and he helped me put together this very, 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 very trick set of body work. And so I wanted to show that with you guys today and also share with you what the plans are with the body work and with the RC8C. So let's take a look. Boom. So we just received this box uh, a few days ago and shipped straight from Europe. You know, it's a big box and it's very light because it's all carbon fiber. So let's take a look inside. I cut this ahead of time. So, ooh, okay. Um, I think this is the belly pan. Let's just take a look. It's very, very well wrapped, super protected. I realize we have a ton of different projects going on. We've got like our minis, we've got the Duke, we've got the RC8C, we've got the Moto 3 now. Lots of different projects going on, but I'm extremely particularly excited about this project because the RC8C is the race bike, right? It's the bike that I use the most. And so I really uh, care about that one the most in terms of all the things that we're putting on it. So just really jazzed to see how this turns out. Cool. Okay. All right, this is, yes. Oh, this is the tank. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. So again, this is fully constructed from carbon fiber. And the weave, I don't have the RCAC here with me, it's over at Peter's, but um, the weave looks very similar to the weave that you would find on the RCAC, like fender or the wings itself. I don't think it's exactly identical, but it's pretty damn close. and. The, the finish is really nice. I had him do the, the, uh, the gloss finish instead of a matte finish. And it looks nice, guys, it looks nice. There's a little bit of um, kind of like imperfection here around the side of the tank, but it's overall very, very nice. And it's incredibly light. Okay, let's go to the next part. Now we've got, okay, now we've got the body work, the, the belly pan portion. The nice thing about the RCAT from a bodywork perspective is that because it's a it's a straight up track slash race bike, there's not that many parts for a bodywork. Everything is very efficient. Basically an upper, a lower, the tank, the tail, the fender, and the wings, and that's it. Very, very simple. Here we are. So freaking awesome. And then, boom! The lower part. Whoa, okay. So here we are, the bottom of the belly pan. They got all the cutouts perfectly done as well. Really nice. So we, we all need to drill fastening points, but I'm gonna do that after all the work is done. Uh, but overall, this is gonna look super trick, guys. This is super awesome. So yeah, like a little, a few little blemishes here and there with the carbon itself, but overall looks really good for, especially with our first run here. Okay, so that's that. And then the next part, the tail. Can you guys see the sweat? It's like a hundred and something degrees outside. And I think it's like over 90 degrees <laughs> inside the garage. This week, it hit like 105, but the heat index said it was 115. It's just, just awful, man, just super awful. So, uh, yeah, Texas. Okay, so this is the tail. Let's see if you guys can see a close shot here. They have the shape down pat, little blemish there. Uh, they have the cutout for the tail light, the rain light already, so that's nice. And the shape itself is exactly what it looks like on the bike. This is well done, yeah. All right, moving on to the next part here. And here we are. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> okay, this is super awesome. Here we are. So this is an RC8C fully carbon fiber bodywork, the upper part of it, right? So you can see the cuts for the windshield are are, are good, but they're a little bit, little bit rough. One interesting thing that they had to do for this 
in particular was the air intake. Can you guys see this portion right here? This whole part here is super custom because the shape itself is very unique. We had to do some 3D scanning to get the shape right and then glue it in appropriately so that the air intake itself would work so that it channels the air into the motor there. Yeah, this looks really cool though. Look at that. What this doesn't include are the wings. So we won't have the wings. I can take them off the, of the current bodywork and install them if I want to. We'll see how it looks first. So it doesn't have the wings and it doesn't have the front fender. This is really just the first step of what I wanted to do. As you know, I raced the RC8C and it's been down and you know, just like, it's the inevitable. It's not a matter of if you're gonna crash, it doesn't matter when you're gonna crash. I did the crash so the win was answered. If you haven't seen the video already, I'll link it below, but I already crashed the RC8C. So it's already been scuffed up quite a bit. And so I needed a second set of bodywork anyway. And so I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I work with my contact in Europe and get a set of fully custom carbon fiber bodywork and then do something really trick with it. So the goal here is to take this to a shop I know in Texas that does really, really, really good race decals. Work with them to do a custom livery, which is inspired by the RC16 MotoGP winter livery. So we're gonna take this over there in a little bit, and then we're gonna talk to them and figure out how we're gonna do it. But basically I wanna try to get it close to that winter livery, which I think just looks really, really clean, really aggressive, very cool. Here we have all the different bodywork parts here. Um, really the bike doesn't have that many in the first place. So we've got the upper, the lower, the tank, and the tail and it all looks really good. I think there's a little bit of blemishes here and there, but overall it's a track, it's a race bike, it's not a show bike, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. The thing that really stands out to me is just how insanely light it is. So once it's all finished, once the project's completed, what I'd like to do is weigh this set of bodywork versus the OEM bodywork to see what the difference is between the two. I can tell you though that it is, it is like, it's featherweight. It is absolutely incredible how lightweight it is. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. So the next step is basically, we're gonna take this, uh, pack it up again really quickly, take it over to 212 Decals, which is a uh, race track bike uh, focused decal shop here in Texas. They do a really, really good job. I'm gonna work with them to get that RC16 winter livery inspired theme. And then we'll get it back. We'll take it over to get, get it clear coated so it's nice and protected. And then in parallel to all of this, I'm actually working with some friends to powder coat one of the sets of Dimag wheels, KTM orange. So I've got this vision in my mind of this, you know, like KTM orange wheels with the orange frame and then you've got the, the black and white winter livery on top of that. I think it's gonna look absolutely trick. So I'm really excited. I think, you know, it'll make it stand out a little bit more in the sea of RCACs. Now, there's not that many out there, but at the same time, I am very excited to have a very different looking RCAC as well. And then honestly, I needed a second set of bodywork anyway, just cause we've been down on it. And the other set, you know, we, we use the bike quite a lot. I mean, like I'm tracking on it a lot. We're racing it a lot. So it made sense. It was time to get a second set anyway. So I'm really happy about this. So that's it for today. Uh, really a quick video just to share with you guys, just like a status update on where we are with this particular project. There's so many different projects going on and I wanted to, you know, just share with you the, the, the progress in that and, you know, stay tuned. If you're new here, please consider leaving a like, please consider uh, leaving a comment. It's always great to hear from you guys. And also please, please, please subscribe for more original track race bike content. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.